Hello, what's up? Once again, this is Ali for another video and uh, this time for Vita on uh, how to install Henkaku on the latest version which is uh, 3.74. Previously, you can actually install Henkaku on uh, any version between 3.60 to the latest firmware because uh, the very basic thing we need uh, to install Henkaku is to have a PSN account. Having a PSN account will allow us uh, to, in or to transfer files to our Vita for us to be able to jailbreak them. But since uh, the latest firmware has been released, uh, which is the 3.74, they have added a two-way process uh, for us to be able to log in a PSN account on our Vita. This process requires us uh, to enter a specific website where we can uh, get the password for our PSN account to our Vita for us uh, to be able uh, to use them. So what we are going to do right now is uh, we are going to show you how to update to the latest firmware and how to get uh, through this two-way process to enter or to log in a PSN account and how to jailbreak or install Henkaku on our Vita. But uh, if you're on 3.60, you don't have uh, to update any further because uh, you can install Henkaku using a specific website. So if you're on 3.60, you don't have to go through all this process. I will just show you how to install Henkaku. And once you have installed Henkaku, you can go ahead and proceed on how to install all those applications that we are going to need. So let us go ahead on our video and uh, show you how it's done. For this video, we are going to need a couple of files and uh, since uh, this is going to be a series uh, for our Vita jailbreak, I am going to save uh, all of our files in a single folder so it will be easier to track them. First is the final action core. I will just uh, leave all of the link uh, on our description and uh, for your convenience, I will just uh, direct you to the file itself. Just open the link and uh, click on this and it will direct you to the file. Just go ahead and uh, save them on your preferred folder. But again, we are going to save all of our files in a single folder. So we're just going to use uh, the folder Vita for the day. And since I already have this, I no longer have to save this one. I will just go ahead and cancel this. Next is the auto plugin. This will simplify our configuration for our Henkaku. And again, uh, just open the link and click on this part. And it will uh, direct you to the file itself. And again, uh, choose the folder that you prefer. Then last is our PKJG or our PKGI. This one uh, will allow us to download our games directly from the Vita itself. Uh, again, open the link and uh, click on uh, this one. Once we have uh, downloaded all of our files, uh, it's time to prepare our Vita for the update and uh, for the installation of the Henkaku. To be able to log in a PSN account, we have uh, to update it first to the latest firmware by going to System Update and update using Wi-Fi. Then your Vita will automatically detect the latest available version. So just go ahead and press on next. And just follow the whole procedure and wait for the whole process to complete. Let us go ahead and uh, enter or sign in our PSN account. I will leave a link of uh, this website on our description. Just uh, go ahead and copy that and paste it to your browser. And from here, you may now go ahead and enter your PSN account. Once you have logged in your PSN account, you will be taken on this part where you can generate a new password. And here you will get this password. This is what we are going to use on our Vita. After logging in, we may now go ahead and use a content manager to transfer our files. On this part, using data cable is advisable because of the speed, but I don't know if it's just me, but I'm having a hard time connecting to data cable, so I'm using Wi-Fi instead. Just make sure that your Vita and your PC or laptop is connected on the same network. Just click on Wi-Fi and you should see your desktop here. Normally, you should see a pin on the HN core 
that you will use for your Vita to connect them. But since I have already connected them both, it just connected right away. Once connected, you will see a message here. And just click on Trim to save some space. And when you are ready, just hit on Let's Go. And to transfer our files, just click on PC to PS Vita system. Then Application. Then PS Vita. And uh, choose the H and Core. Then Copy. Then we may now exit the Content Manager and open the H and Core. Download the Vita Shell. Install Henkaku. And exit. Then we should enable the unsafe homebrew under the Henkaku settings. With the Vita Shell, we can now transfer the rest of the files that we need to our Vita. By pressing Start button. Here on the USB uh, device, uh, we can choose uh, where to transfer the files. Since uh, we're just using uh, the standard uh, memory card of the Vita, we'll choose here memory card. But uh, if you are using an SD2 Vita, you may also choose here SD2 Vita. But we'll just leave this to memory card. And here on uh, the um, select button, we can uh, choose uh, how we can transfer the files, uh, either by USB or by FTP. But for now, since uh, my USB is working to transfer files using PS Vita, we'll just go ahead and use USB. Then uh, just press Start and uh, press Select. Let us now go ahead and open our Vita. And uh, you will see here that uh, there is only a few folders uh, that are displayed uh, because uh, those uh, system folders that we need are hidden. And to be able uh, to show those hidden folders, we need to change uh, some configuration. To do that, on the artwork tabs of the folder, you can uh, see the view. Just click on the view. And here on the option, click on the option and change folder and search option. And from here, you will see another tab. Click on the view. And here, we have to check on show hidden files, folders, and drives. And also, we need to uncheck uh, the hide protected operating system files. This will show the system files of our Vita. So just click on Yes and click on Apply, then OK. Then we will see here the rest of the folders for our Vita. We need to transfer our Auto Plugin and our PKJG or our PKGI. So just drag and drop them uh, on the router of your Vita. Then once it's transferred, let us open uh, our UX0. And this is our auto plugin. Let us go ahead and install it. That is for our auto plugin. Now our PKJG. Then after we install those files, uh, let us go ahead and open our auto plugin uh, to complete uh, our Hentaku. Vita plugins. Install plugins. Then we are going to search for the non-PDRM. Then once it restarts, uh, basically you have uh, completed uh, installing Kentaku on uh, your Vita. But uh, that is uh, just uh, the starting point of the Kentaku. After installing Kentaku, there's still a lot of uh, things or stuff that you can do with your Vita. We can downgrade our Vita to be able to install Enso that will uh, enable us to have a uh, permanent jailbreak on the PSP because uh, on 3.74, every time you turn off your Vita, you will have uh, to re-enable your jailbreak or your Agent Core by running the Agent Core again. So you have to do this every time uh, you restart uh, your Vita. But you don't have uh, to download the Vita Shell, just uh, install the Henkaku and just exit. Then let us go ahead and try our PKJG. If you run PKJG and you encounter some error, that is because uh, you did not uh, install non-PDRM. So that is the reason why we installed Auto Plugin for us to easily install our non-PDRM 
and uh, that will also help us install uh, some other plugins that we are going to need on the future videos so here on the pkjg to refresh your list just uh, click on triangle and uh, choose uh, refresh After refreshing your list, uh, you will be able to browse uh, the games uh, that are available on your PKGI. So if you want to check Vira Games, just click on Search Games or Show Games, and it will show all files available for Vita. And if you want to search for a specific game, just click on Triangle and uh, hit on Search. Let us go ahead and uh, search Uncharted. There. So there are still some games that is not available on the PKJG, so you will have uh, to download them manually using an external source. If you want uh, to download a PS1 uh, or PSP games, just uh, hit on triangle again. Then here, show PSX games uh, to show PS1 games or PSX games and PSP games. By the way, you won't be able to play them unless you install Adrenaline. By the way, we are going to cover that on the next video. And we are also going to show you how we can downgrade our beta for us to be able to install Hencapu. We are also going to show you on the next video how we can use SD to Vita for you to be able to upgrade your storage using a standard micro SD card using an SD to Vita adapter. So that's it for our video. If you have any questions or you have encountered some issues or problem, Please uh, do let me know, share them on our comment section, and I will definitely address them. And if you found this uh, video helpful, please uh, do leave me a thumbs up. And please do subscribe, and uh, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.